everyone it's Jen here and a very warm welcome to my channel so today I am going to do a kitting up video and the picture that I am going to kit up is um, this one by Easy Whim so um, here is uh, the thumbnail it's some flowers beautiful bright vibrant flowers actually and uh, some birds. It's a double sided adhesive round and it's 30 by 40. There it is there. Lots of confetti in this one. Um, so some bits of colour blocking in, in the kind of flower areas but uh, lots lots and lots of confetti. Um, there are 34 colours all together. So I have unboxed this already. I've shown I've made a video of it which I will link at the end of this video for you and also down below too. So this is uh, going to be a canvas that I'm going to do for diamond paint, or, well one of the canvases I'm going to do for Diamond Painting Fanatics Spring Flings and Easter Things event and again I'll link her channel as well so you can uh, check that out. Anyway, I'm going to pop this back under my board. I like to keep these nice and flat, stop any wrinkles and crinkles. Oops, wrinkles and crinkles getting into them. And uh, this kitting up's going to be pretty quick. Um, the drills come pre-bagged, but they are uh, numbered. So I will kit this up by number and um, I ref usually refer to the legend when uh, um, when I'm actually doing the diamond painting. So let me find a boat. I've got a boat sitting here with all bits of wax and other stuff inside it. <laughs> but we'll have a look at some of the colours because uh, the reason I don't normally kit up um, the Easy Whim canvases in advance. Uh, I normally um, sort of like open a colour, start working on it, and then when I'm finished with that colour, then I'll put it in the pot, you know, a bag at a time. But I thought these colours, since these colours are so nice, um, a veritable rainbow, if you like, I thought, you know what, I think I'll do this as a video. I'll take my watch off. Yeah, I think I'll do this as a video, so... Yes, we can have a look at some of these absolutely gorgeous colours. And in fact, let's get the uh, let's get the um somebody here somewhere. Yoohoo, where are you? <laughs> Gosh. Um oh nope, that's the wrong one. I'm wanting the legend. Ah, here it is. Just so we can have a look at the DMC numbers. Oh gosh, <laughs> the bag's sealed its shelf, shelf shut again. Right. Now, funny thing is, I was I'm doing another Easy Whim canvas at the moment, and I had two bags of the same colour. Mm, I don't know whether they did that deliberately or was an accident. Anyway, <laughs> let's get down to kitting this one up. So 34 colours. Um, this is uh, one of the the cases um, with um, the screw top bottles in it. It goes up to 42. So perfect. Perfect. Just enough for me. Right. So starting off with one of my favourites actually. So this is 3846. A lovely blue colour. And it's number 33. So um, yeah, I've kind of dived straight into this kitting up, so haven't had the chance to ask everybody how they are today, and I hope you are all well. It is, what day is it today? Monday the 11th of April. Oh, look at this. Oh, lovely pink. Yeah, Monday the 11th of April. And it's a bit chilly. <laughs> I 
I honestly thought spring was on its way. Nah, I don't think it is. I think uh, it's got cold again. Thirty-four. It's a nice mustard colour. So I haven't actually done a massive amount of diamond painting lately. Um, a few bits and pieces. Um, as I said, I'm working on um, an Easy Whim canvas. I finished my um, with canvas I chose as a PR package uh, from New Craft Day. So I, I was working on that. Uh, the post review of that's already gone up, so you can have a look at it if you want, if you're interested. Um, I haven't done any more on spring lamb, and I haven't done any more on Pisces since, um, you know, the month started. So I do kind of need to get uh, a wiggle on and do a little bit more of those. But... And what am I doing? I'm cutting up another one. <laughs> so I think I've got... How many diamond paintings have I got kitted up? I've got one, two... I've got Pisces, I've got Spring Lamb. I have got um, Keep Your Hat On, which is a uniquely yours down under one. I have got Fee, which is another one that I'm doing for Spring Blings and Easter Things. Uh, Fee's, um, it's uh, Diamond Art Club. I think it's Hamelin. But I can't swear to it. I am working on, um, I've got an, oh, an Easy Whim canvas um, kitted up. It's uh, the horse. And I think that's it. I think that's it. So I'm working on, I'm working on, I've got five kitties up. Three of which I have, oh, that's nice, isn't it? I'm getting distracted. What colour is this? Three, seven, five, nope. Three, seven, six, one. There's some beautiful blues in this picture. There really is. Um. So yeah, I've got five paintings kitted up three of which I've started and two I haven't started so this is going to make picture number six <laughs> kitted up so um, yeah I've, I'm kind of almost out of storage now I think I'm trying to think I think I've just got the little um I think I've just got the little 24 containers. You know, the little small ones that, you know, go, you know, go in rows. Or is it 28? No, it's 28 containers. It's the seven, seven rows of four that are all joined together. I've got a few of them. But I tend to only use those for um, either really small kits Sort of like below there, 30 by 30 or below, or um, special shapes. So, this is going quite quick. So, uh, I haven't really spoken much about some of these colors, but then there's a nice dark green, and that is 890 DMC. So yes, th this uh, this particular painting does have a lot of confetti. So I think it might take me a little while. But the horse's head, oops, <laughs> something. Oh, it's gone over here. The horse's head, um, or the horse diamond painting that I'm doing from Easy Whim, uh, that is 
a lot of colour blocking so I'm halfway through it and, and it's only taken about two three days and I'm halfway through so I just dropped a drill in my lap there we go um and that's only been like you know a, a couple of hours in the evening I have been playing quite a few video games lately, so yeah, I don't tend to do much diamond painting if if if, if I you know if I get the if I start doing games, I've um I've got three games you know <laughs> I, I I game like a diamond paint you know I usually have multiple games on the go at the one time I can never do one and then finish it. So, um, yeah, multiple games on the go. I'm playing Resident Evil 4. And I'm playing Far Cry 6. And I'm trying to play Bloodborne. It's a really hard game. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm stuck <laughs> at a bit of it. Um, my son's trying to help me with it, but well, when I say help me, he's, he's, he's not playing it for me, but he is sort of like helping with strategies and, and stuff. Uh, I'm also playing Hitman 3. <laughs> I told you, like, you know, I've got multiple games on the go as well as, um, as well as multiple diamond paintings. Oh, look at that. Beautiful pink. That's 3609, that's lovely. Um, oh, and there's another one I've just, another game that I've just started, which is, there's a new Lego Star Wars game out. So um, it just came out, I think last week or the week before, and I've started playing that as well. I do quite like the Lego games, they're, they're quite good fun. I think I've got a, a odd drill in there from the last time I used this pack. So yes, a serial starter, a serial starter of um, diamond paintings <laughs> and a serial starter of video games. This is a lovely bright pink. This is DMC 718. Oh, this tend to take a while coming out of the bags, these drills. I don't know why. Um, I'm not a big fan of the grip seal bags not at all um i know a lot of people are but i'd just as soon as have them in the big train and uh then in these little grip seal bags i think um I was going to say, I think uh, they, they build up quite a lot of static. Uh, I tend to have more issues with static on these grip seal bags than I do with the, um, the sort of like trains, the, the plastic bags, you know, the ones that are all connected together. Wow. Look how bright and beautiful that yellow is. <gasps> 726 is the DMC number for this one. Oh, now if that's not a lovely spring, summery spring colour, I don't know what is. It's absolutely gorgeous. I 
So it's going to, I'm going to really enjoy doing this uh, diamond painting, I think, uh, just because of the variety of colours in it. Um, the horse I'm doing at the moment is is very, very, very brown. It's, uh, it's just uh, sitting behind me. So what we'll do is once I've finished the kitting up, I'll, uh, I'll show you that and uh, you, you can see the difference. Um, but it's a pity that this container system that I'm using is all in the all in the foam because um, I wonder if I can lift that foam out once I've kitted once I've kitted it up and you can see all the lovely colours. Wonder if I'd be able to lift that out. Oh yes, I can. Oh yeah, I'll try and lift that out at the end, and uh, you can we'll have a little look at the colours all together. This is a dark brown. So I'm going to try and do a bit more diamond painting this week, I think. Um, as I said, I haven't done a massive amount recently. Because I, and, and I was ill as well. I wasn't I wasn't that great. Um, last weekend uh, so I kind of really didn't do much didn't do much at all And oh, oh, I mean, this diamond painting is full of really nice bright pinks and greens and yellows. It's going to make me really happy to paint, to uh, work on this one, I think. It's nice to have a nice, bright, colourful uh, diamond painting to work on. I think the last one that I did with this variety of uh, colours and this, this kind of brightness of colours was probably um, Mother Earth. Yeah, I don't think I've done any quite as, quite as bright and colourful since then. I've had a lot of blue ones. <laughs> I've had a lot of blue ones recently and um, I, blue is my favourite colour to diamond paint. Uh, unlike my friend Claire online, who, uh, who uh, that's her least favourite colour. <laughs> Although she seems to be diamond painting a lot of blue things at the moment as well, so... But yeah, I've had a, I've had a lot of blue diamond paintings. Um, it seemed to all kick off with the uh, when I was doing night messengers from from um, Diamond Art Studio, and you know, I, I, I love that painting. I love it so much, and um, I, I like all the blue in it. But since that one, I seem to have you know ended up doing quite a lot of blue paintings so <laughs> so the last few i think that i got from easy Whim, um were very blue and i've got a i've got a manatee to um that i'm going to do as well which is all blue uh, um Again, that's in the, the unboxing video for this. Came in the same box as uh, as this diamond painting here. Uh, 
Now that was a surprise and a half when I, when I opened up that box. It was, uh, yeah, there we go. There's another really bright, bright green. 702. And it's music notes. Music notes, Cindy, is the symbol for this one. <laughs> Cindy likes her music notes. <laughs> That's Cindy at Diamond Painting Fanatics. Um, so yeah, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, that was a big surprise when I when I opened up the the Easy Win box, and I found a a sea cow, a manatee in there. Um, yeah, it wasn't quite what I was expecting. <laughs> and the thing is, I, I think I had chosen uh, my my theme that I'd chosen was animals and pets, and I'd chosen it a couple of times, and. In the previous box, I was complaining because I got puppies and a hor and a horses, and I was like, you know, I kind of like something a wee bit more exotic. Uh, I don't know how exotic a manatee is, but <laughs> if you class that as an exotic animal, but yeah. So I can't I can't wait to sort of like make that one up, but um, it it probably be. Um, a, a little while yet bef before I do that one b purely because I, I need to have a break from all the blue because uh, I don't want to sort of like not like blue anymore um, it's, 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 good, it's good to sort of like chop and change the colours a little bit Oh, something's got burst in here. In fact, I think there's a couple of bags, um, you know, maybe not being sealed correctly. There's a little bit of a confetti situation going on just off, off camera. So even though, you know, I was saying these grip seal bags I find get quite staticky, um, I must say uh, the Easy Whim ones that I've had, they, um, they aren't too bad. She says, and look at that little, <laughs> look at those dancing in there. I did have to say that the Easy Win ones weren't too bad as soon as I opened one that has really got, got quite a lot of static in it. A sod's law, really, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's going up the Hoover. something just pinged as I said it's going up the hoover yeah so I think this one kind of popped open a little bit number four here oh now I've just had a look number four the symbol code on the canvas for number four is six and I must admit that is a bit of a a pet peeve is when you get symbols that don't match up with the numbers so you know see so for example uh, you'll see your number four um, is a symbol six a little bit further down number 13 is symbol one number 14 is seven Pff, oh I really don't like that. <laughs> and I bet you I'm not the only one as well. I bet you, like most of you guys out there, feel exactly the same way. It's very confusing. Um, maybe I make it hard on myself because quite often um, when I'm kitting up in these sort of like screw top containers, uh, I kit up by um by number on the uh, legend 
and then I refer to the, the legend for, for the symbol. Um, but, uh, oh, he's a lovely purple. 333. Nice royal purple. Um, and it's <laughs> and it's number three as well. <laughs> yeah, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and these screw top containers are kit up by number and refer to the legend. But uh, so yeah, so so having those numbers there, uh, not being the same, so the symbol number being different from the actual number is quite frustrating i mean i could make things better by um perhaps uh you know putting the symbols on the tops of the pots however um i'm a bit of a canny scot you know so i've made up these with the numbers and i'm not peeling them off <laughs> and re keep relabeling lots and lots and lots of uh different symbols for different things you know, and I, I numbered these up like months ago, and it's the, still the same number that's on them. So, yeah. As I say, I think I'm being a bit of a canny Scott. Saving time, saving labels. I think this has got a drill in here from a previous kit as well. I can actually get that one out. Can I? You know what? It can stay in there. <laughs> Life's too short. So when the, you have to, I have to do these this over a boat, particularly with these grip seal bags, because as I said, the static, and you know, all the static and the bags causes the drills to sort of like go everywhere when you open it, <laughs> everywhere apart from in the pot. And now this one doesn't want to come out. Come on. I mean, I should be fine with drills. I shouldn't run out. Um, I was, I would have said I've never ran out of drills on an easy whim canvas before, but that would be telling of a great big fib because um, I did actually in the last painting that I did, the, the one with the two horses in the field with the, with the um, border collie. Now this is the last bag and wow how bright and beautiful is that yellow and that's going to be all oops there we go that's going to be all these flowers here at the right hand side dmc number 307 if you're interested um yeah i did run out of drills on um my last easy whim that i did Actually, I might look and see if I've got replacements in, in this one because I've got quite a lot of green in this. Um, uh, maybe not, maybe not. They are sending me the, a, a replacement bag though, so hopefully that will appear in the next week or two. They did say to allow for, for a couple of two to three weeks for them to ship it to me, so. Right. Okay, so that is us all kitted up. Um, let me see if... Now this may turn into a bit of a disaster. <laughs> it may not though. Let's see if we can turn this upside down and you can see all the colours. Uh... Oh! Ah! <laughs> No, it's gonna it's not gonna work, is it? I was gonna say, oh look at all the colours, but then they've all sunk to the other side. <laughs> and all they're, they're all coming out of the, the the thing. Right, hold on. Well we're not gonna do that again. <laughs> what we will do is uh we might lift a few pots out at the one time and you can see. So there we go. Very, very, very colourful painting. <laughs> and then I get all the neutrals. <laughs> as soon as I say very, very, very colourful painting, those ones that I lift out are all neutral. <laughs> Let's have a look in here. Some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colours. Nice variety. Oh, here we go. Some nice brighter ones here. 
and then yeah these ones are a lot better those ones are a lot better you know and then there and then there we go it's almost quite almost saved the best to last eh right okay so that is that beautiful picture of the birds and the flowers and uh, it's got the butterflies in there as well all kitted up so um i'll just show you my horse actually that i'm working on at the moment uh, it's the other ec poem canvas that came with this um in that box and you can see why i'm craving color um So I do really, really like this canvas as well. Um, I'll just bring this down a little bit so you can see better. Um, I seem to be working from the bottom up with this one. Um, that, ooh, there's the thumbnail. So it is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, there's how far I've got. Um, I mean, as you can see, there is a lot of brown an awful lot of brown <laughs> um, but also quite a lot of color blocking as well so it, it is going reasonably quickly anyway um i hope you have enjoyed this kitting up video it's been a little while since i've done one um i'll probably be going to be doing another one fairly soon so um i don't know whether that will go up this week or at the start of next week um it's my other um uh, other cam another canvas that I'm going to do for the the spring fling uh, event that uh, Diamond Painting Fanatics is running. So, um, yeah, we'll get that kitted up and um, as well. But anyway, I as I said, I hope you have liked this kitting up. And if you have done, can you please give the video a thumbs up? And um, yes, thank you very very much for watching. If you are new, uh, or even if you aren't new, uh, you've been watching me for a while um, and you haven't ha hit that subscribe button yet, uh, please hit the subscribe on the way out. It would be really, really, really appreciated. And um, yeah, it'll help the channel too. So um, once again, thank you very, very much for watching and uh, I'll see you all in my next video. Cheerio, guys.